Hello friends, welcome back. This is a very short video and a very informative a quick tip on a .NET Core 8 with NTT Framework 8. If you guys are using this latest technology and then experiencing some weird issue for the new project, like the one that I'm showing on here, right? The error shows here that globalization culture info, all of those blah 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 things, right? If the NTT Framework 8 uh, like EF Core 8 is not working for your .NET 8 application and here you are. I was also on the same boat and I'll tell you what was a simple mistake uh, that we need to change and it's not because of us, it's because of the latest uh, template that Microsoft has been releasing this and um, come let's dive into it. So if you're experiencing this issue, especially the one that I'm highlighting and then you're not able to run the application, let's for example if I just run one of the .NET Core 8 web API that connects to the database, I will experience this error. So if I just see, I can see the same error again and again. It will tell you this globalization culture info is not correct. It's not able to open up the connection, right? So what's the mistake? So this is my application. This is built using .NET 8 and the template that I used here is the default template like uh, everyone does the new application I also did it and then what happens is there is something called invariant globalization which is set to true so this property was not coming earlier but with the .NET 8 SDK it used to come as true by default and this was the whole reason why you get this error so all what you have to do is come here and set this to false and I'm gonna rerun this application and then you will see the magic that it should be able to connect your database and give us the response so here's our application so I'm gonna hit the same thing and you should be able to get the response here in no time see we got the response so it's all because of this particular property being set to true by default by the template all right so if you're struggling with this go ahead change this find out this in your web project and change this to false it should be true by default change it to false I hope you were able to resolve this issue and uh, this was a helpful video. Let me know in the comment section how many of you guys faced this problem and how how good you felt after looking at this simple mistake. If you like this video, don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more tech tips and I'll see you in the next video. Thanks for watching. If you found this video helpful, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel for more tech tutorials. And don't forget to hit the bell icon to get notified when we post new videos. If you have any questions or suggestions, leave them in the comments below. Happy coding!